So the first thing that I'm going to do is moisturize my lips because they'd be hella crusty lately. I'm using the Vaseline Lip Therapy in Creme Brulee. I got it the other day and it's so cool. So of course, I already went ahead and did my eyebrows off screen just because they take a little bit longer. If you're interested in an eyebrow tutorial, which I've been getting plenty of requests, I will go ahead and do that as soon as I can. But for now, if you are interested in knowing what products I like to use and brushes and everything like that, check down in the description bar because I will have everything listed for you guys, including direct links in case you're interested in purchasing some of the items. Since I already have concealer on my eyelids um, from cleaning my brows earlier and kind of priming my eyelids a little bit, I'm going to go in with a color that is very close to my skin tone. This is Makeup Geek Cosmetic Beaches and Cream. I love this shade. This is a beautiful matte shade for all over the lid. And I'm going to use my Morphe E30 brush to set my lid area. The next thing we're going to do is work on our uh, brow bone. We really want to lift up our eyebrows and bring that area out just a little bit. So I'm going to go in with my favorite, favorite shade uh, for under the brows. It's called MAC um, Shroom. The color is Shroom, like mushrooms. Um, and it's by MAC Cosmetics. It's this beautiful kind of like milky, dusty, whitish color. It's just so dainty, so pretty. And I'm going to work that under my brow area with the Morphe M519 brush. What we're going to do is we're going to give our lid area a little bit more definition. So what you want to do is kind of open up your eyes, see where your crease folds, bring this color in your crease area and up just a tiny bit above your crease. And this is the color Makeup Geek Cosmetics in the shade Latte. Love, love, love this shade. It totally reminds me of Starbucks for some reason. It's probably just the name. But I'm just going to bring this Latte shade in my crease area and kind of bring it up a little bit above my crease with my Morphe M518 brush. And then you always want to remember to have your blending brush right next to you. We're going to blend that highlight color that we popped on earlier with the latte color we just put in our crease. And we want everything kind of just come together and be beautifully blended and nothing is going to be too harsh. What we're going to do is we're going to give our crease area a little bit more definition. So before we went in with latte, which was kind of like a light brown, we're going to go in with a more richer brown shade. This is a Makeup Geek Cosmetics Coco Bear, one of my favorite all-time shades. I love it so much. It's so beautiful on the crease, even alone with a nude lid, or for this look, it definitely makes it. We really want this color to peak above the latte color, so we're going to pop it right above the crease very gently, and we're going to use the Makeup Geek Cosmetics um, Soft Dome Brush for this process. Of course, after every process, I'm going to trust that you guys are blending everything out with your blending brush. I have to say, this brush is probably one of my favorite brushes that I've been trying lately. Um, this is the Makeup Geek Cosmetics Soft Dome Brush. It's just so nice. It's really fluffy, very soft. It gets in that to that crease area really nicely for you to evenly blend and kind of have this soft effect. If you hold it at the tip of the brush, like I mentioned two videos back for my highlighting video, you're going to get a more softer effect and that's just going to give you a really flawless look. Rather than holding the brush so um, so close, it's going to give you more of a dense look and you might go a little heavy handed. Now you're going to take Makeup Geek Cosmetics a bit in and you're just going to take a tiny bit of it, literally like just a tiny bit on your tip. You don't want to go overboard because then that'll just kind of take away from the look a little bit. This is a beautiful berry shade and what we're going to do is we're kind of doing this like horizon feel, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> we're going to put this on the tip of the color that we used earlier, which was Cocoa Bear. So we're going to take a bit in and put it right where Cocoa Bear ends, but very gently. So Next, we're going to take our NYX Cosmetics Jumbo Eye Pencil in the color Black Bean 601. It's just a black shade. Any matte black kind of gel material will work. You can use your gel liner. It really does not matter. This is going to be a really nice dark base for us to pop our lid color on because our lid color might kind of need that extra support. So that's why we are popping on this baby. Um, I love the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencils. I find them really easy to use. Their formula is amazing too. And it's really black. 
blendable, which is nice when you're working with something super intense. I'm using a synthetic brush. You can use any. This just happens to be a Morphe one. You don't have to use whatever I'm using. Whatever synthetic brush that you want to use just to help blend out that black is perfectly fine. You also want to make sure that the black kind of gel material that's acting as our base stays on the lid only. Do not bring it above the crease. This can only stay on your lid area. Now we're going to get to the fun part of the whole look. I honestly saw this color and I was like, holy potato nuts. This is the most beautiful color in the world. And I usually never go for these shades, but I was like, oh my God, a girl's got to do what a girl got, got to do, you know? So this is the color Secret Garden by Makeup Geek Cosmetics. It is a duochrome eyeshadow, I believe. I might be wrong. I'm not sure. Check the link down below. I'm going to use an e.l.f. kind of synthetic concealer brush. And I'm going to take this guard, Secret Garden in by Makeup Geek and pack this on top of the black that we blended out earlier and spread it all over my lid and basically wherever you see black on your lid is where this Secret Garden shade is gonna go. The next thing you want to do is you want to clean up the edges. The edges of the Secret Garden duochrome shade is going to be very intense. So we're gonna go back in with a bitten that we use just before this step with our Define Crease Brush again and we're just gonna slowly blend the edges of a secret garden into our crease colors. Then your lid might lose a little bit of that pigmentation from secret garden. So you can go ahead and take your synthetic brush that, or whatever brush you are using and take a little bit more of the duochrome and kind of pat and add it onto your lid as well if you see that it's losing a little bit, bit of pigmentation. If I find that my highlight under my brow area has lost a little bit of color, I'm going to add a little bit more. And then we're going to take the L'Oreal True Teal Eyeliner. I love this brush. I'll definitely link it down below because it's so beautiful. It's very creamy, glides on very nicely, and it's so pigmented. And then we're going to take LA Girl Cosmetics Glide Liner. This is one of my favorite liners. It does not budge. It's waterproof. It does not transfer, and it's so pigmented. I promise you, this is the best liner in the whole entire world world. And then we're going to take our Morphe E17 brush, go back in just a tiny bit of Cocoa Bear and blend right under all these colorful things right under our lower lash line. So we really want to tie everything together and kind of give it a nice balance. And for my falsies today, I am using House of Lashes Iconic. They are one of my favorite styles. Now we're going to go ahead and work on our face. I already moisturized my face with my Holy Grail Moisturizer, the Cetaphil Moisturizing Cream. I'm using a new primer today and I really want to share it with you guys. It's this Maybelline New York a Master Prime by Face Studio Primer Base. It says it blurs and smooths out your face before you put foundation on and it definitely does. Not only is it a great base, it's also really hydrating which is something that I love. For our foundation today, we are using a holy grail that I used to use all four years of high school. I still love it till this day. It is the Maybelline Dream Liquid Mousse Foundation. I'm in the color Nude Light 4. I'll link it down below. It's very comparable to the Too Faced Born This Way. If you're looking for a more affordable option, this Maybelline Dream Liquid Mousse is going to be the answer to everything. I'm going to dot this all over my face and I'm going to blend it in with my Real Techniques Beauty Blender. For the concealer today, we are using Kat Von D's Lock It Concealer. I love Kat Von D. You guys know that. So I definitely had to give this concealer a try. I'm in the color Light 18 because I'm going to use this to conceal and highlight my under eye and other areas. Um, it's amazing. It's a little bit thick, yet it's super blendable, which is amazing because sometimes when concealers are too thick, they tend to cake up and it's not good. But this is so beautiful on the skin. I definitely would recommend this. What I usually do with this Kat Von D Locket Concealer is I take a small amount of it on my finger and evenly dot it right under my eyes, kind of like what I do with my foundation earlier. This way I'm not tempted to use a lot of the product. This Kat Von D Concealer, like I mentioned before, is kind of pricey, at least for me. It's a little bit out of my price range. I love it so much, but I only want to use a little bit, which is great because it gives you enough coverage, so a little bit goes a long way. And then I'm going to blend that out 
with my Real Techniques Beauty Blender. Then I'm going to take my Real Techniques brush or any brush that you use to set your under eye area and other areas as well. I'm going to go in with my Morphe Brushes 06 PC Contour and Highlight Palette. I've been loving this palette so much. It's a very affordable version of like the Anastasia Contour Highlight Palette or the Kat Von D Light and Shade. This is a great dupe. Then I'm going to take my Morphe G7, which is my Holy Grail powder brush, a little bit of this Ben Nye Luxury Powder, and set the rest of my face. To warm up the face today, I am using a Real Techniques powder brush. This thing is ginormous. And then I'm going to go in with my Essence Cosmetics Sun Club uh, Matte Bronzing Powder in 02 Sunny. I'm not really contouring right now. I'm using this to warm up my face. Now we're actually going to go in and contour our face so we don't look like a potato. I'm going to take my Morphe M527 brush, which is my holy grail contouring brush. It makes everything super easy. I'm dabbing it into the middle color of the City Color Cosmetics Contour Effects 2 palette. This is a beautiful shade and I'm going to use this to deepen up certain areas in my face. So it's going to give our face more definition. All right, today for highlighting, we're going to use one of my favorite highlighting products. It is called You Do You, and it is actually Dupe That's collaboration with Ofer Cosmetics. If you don't follow Dupe That on Instagram, you definitely should. The two girls who run it are actually um, two of my closest friends, and I love them so much. k &L, they're amazing. Dupe That is basically an Instagram where they take certain products and they find a dupe. Sometimes you save even $10 to $15 on a product and they look the same. The formula is great. Those two girls are amazing and not only are they my friends but they're so trustworthy which is why I love their page so much and I'm so so grateful to have friends like them. Congrats to KNL. Your highlighter is amazing. I love it so much. I'm gonna link this down below in case you guys are interested. This is a great dupe for Becca Cosmetics Champagne Pop. I'm going to dab a little bit of this beautiful highlighting shade onto the tip of my Morphe M510 brush. My Morphe M510 is my holy grail highlighting brush. I know a few of you have been asking and this is it. I will have the link down below in case you are interested. This beautiful highlight is so stunning. It has a really nice golden tint to it. It's gonna look beautiful on multiple skin tones. I love it so much, you guys. It is unbelievably stunning. For blushes today, I'm going to be using my e.l.f. Complexion Brush, which I love using for blush. And then I'm going to dab it into my Too Faced Your Love is King Love Flush Blush. Wow, that was a handful. These blushes are beautiful. They're so pigmented. They smell amazing. Too Faced is one of my favorite. Actually, it might be my number one favorite cosmetic brand. So I can never go wrong with this line. For the lips today, I'm going to keep it on more of the nude family side. You definitely could go with a deep lip. It's up to you. There are no rules when it comes to makeup. Just have fun with it. Whatever makes you feel beautiful, go right ahead. I'm going to go in with Gerard Cosmetics Hydra Matte in the color Ice Mocha. Gerard Cosmetics Hydra Mattes are one of my favorite liquid lipsticks because they're so hydrating, so moisturizing. They kind of transfer a little bit if you really try, but if you gently touch it, it's not going to come off which is great. Then I'm going to set my face and spray with the NYX Matte Finish Setting Spray. And that is your finished look. Okay, you guys, that is it for this makeup tutorial. Everything you need to know is listed down below, and this time I have provided direct links for you guys, so it's easy as one, two, three. You just click on the link, and that is the product that you're looking for. I hope that you really like this. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you do. Um, leave me a comment down below, because I love hearing from you guys. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I definitely would love to talk to you on Twitter and Instagram, so go ahead and shoot me a tweet or a comment or maybe even a Snapchat. Check the description bar because you guys asked me a lot of questions and a lot of them are already answered. So give that a look and I will see you in my next tutorial. Bye lovelies.